Has anyone wanted to start a home lab? How do you start it? Where do you start? And how do you do it? All you need is an old laptop hanging around the house. And so we're gonna be turning this into our first home server. Hypervisor of choice we're going to be using for our home server is Proxmox. So we'll go to the Proxmox website and download the ISO. Grab the latest download. While that's downloading, grab your USB flash drive, at least eight gigabytes of memory, and then plug it into your USB port. So he's plugged in. Now we're going to burn that ISO image to the USB using Rufus. Once Proxmox has finished downloading, open up Rufus and then select the right USB drive. Just click OK. It's fine. And then click Start. Erase the whole entire USB drive, which is fine. OK. OK. We'll burn the image to the USB drive and then we'll put it into the laptop and get the server started. With the image burned to the USB flash drive, it's now in the MacBook and we're going to start it up and get the server up and running. So, so once your Ethernet cable is plugged in, we'll go back to the Proxmox installer, select your country and your time zone, create a root password for login after installation. Put in an email address. Once Proxmox has pulled all your network information, you need, you need to put in a host name. So you can put it to whatever you like, but at the end, make sure you put .local install. This takes about five minutes. So once this is installed, I'll see you back on my PC. So Proxmox just fi finished installing and the address is 129. Pop that in the address bar and let's see if it worked. HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.1.129 colon 8006. Beautiful it works. Events. We haven't got any certificate, which is fine. Proceeded. And we're in. It's running off the MacBook that we installed the ISO onto. This is how you can you get your home lab started. This is how I got started. And then you slowly build up to built servers and the enterprise servers and then a network rack and then switches and routers and all that type of stuff. It's awesome. But start off slow. If you've got an old PC or MacBook laying around, you don't have to use Proxmox, that's just my preference, it's just simple and easy. So that's how you get started in your home lab and the journey you're going to take. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.